Hi Good Barbers! Today's video tutorial is dedicated to one of the most powerful tools on the platform, the MCMS Map section. After watching this video tutorial, you'll be able to generate geolocated directories for any kind of business, service, or product. First, you must add and name a map section by clicking on App, Sections, Add a Section, and select the Map section. You'll have the option to choose Good Barber's MCMS or a personal content source. If you are an advanced user and have developing skills, you can customize your own map section. However, this video tutorial is focused on the MCMS option. Once you've added this section, you'll be automatically redirected to a menu where you can manage your content. Start adding points to your map. Type the address into the appropriate field and the fields Latitude and Longitude will be automatically filled. You can accompany each point with text, pictures, and videos. The process is very similar to the CMS Articles Management. All you have to do is choose the appropriate kind of paragraph and fill it with your content. In the right column, you can further customize the information displayed. Select Info. You can choose the category in which the point will be displayed. For a reminder on how to create categories, watch the Categories tutorial. You can also add some calls to action to complete the information for the point. The extra information you can provide could be a website, telephone, or email. Once the app is published, this information will appear as a Call to Action button and by clicking on it, the user will be redirected to the indicated website to call the phone number or to write an email to the email address provided. The Get Directions option will also appear by default. When clicked, the user will be directed to the map application of the device and will get a geolocated route to the desired location. In the right column, you are able to customize the icon for the point. You can choose between the icons offered by Gabarber as well as change their color, or you can add a personal icon. If you add your own, make sure the icon respects the specifications. By default, the thumbnail displayed in the list view will be the picture you added. On the social label in the right-hand column, you will be able to activate the option to comment on the point. Publish it. Once you have added all your content and customized it in detail, you can add other functionalities in the settings menu, such as the search tool or the discus comments. This is also where you can create the categories mentioned before. You can also organize the way the content will be displayed with the following options, by alphabetical order, by most viewed, by most commented on, or by distance. Remember to save the changes. You have now set up the section in the detailed view of the point. In addition to that, you can also customize the list view. Click on List of Locations in the menu on the right. In the appearing menu, you can choose whether you want the points to appear by default in a list format or over a map, as well as whether or not you want to customize the background and titles. In Display, you can select whether or not to show the thumbnail and address information in the list view. Below Content Zone in Thumbnail, you can add an appearing thumbnail image by default. This image will appear in the list view with all the points that don't include an image in the detail view. Remember the image must respect the required parameters. Select the alignment of the thumbnail in the list. After setting up your map section, remember to update the changes by clicking the green button at the top right corner, Update App. 